Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. In this video, we are going to solve today's problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is longest sub array with sum divisible by k, right? So as user, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further to the video, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, it will really motivate me to create more such content for you and make sure to join our telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself so make sure to join there as well so let's get started with the problem now the problem says given an array containing n integers and a positive integer k find the length of the longest sub array with the sum of elements divisible by the given value k so let's understand the same with the help of an example so here you can see we are having an array consisting of elements 2, 7, 6, 1, 4, 5. K value is 3. So what we have determined, we have to basically determine the length of the longest sub array whose sum of the elements is divisible by the given value K. So here, if you will see, so in the output we are getting 4. It means the length of the longest sub array whose element sum is equal to, uh, like it's divisible by K. Okay. So here you can see the sub array is 7, 6, 1, 4. Now if you will add these elements, 7 plus 6, 13 plus 1, 14 plus 4, 18. Okay, and 18 is what? 18 is divisible by 3, right? With some 18, which is divisible by 3, right? So that's why we are getting, this is the maximum possible sub array of whose sum of the elements is divisible by 3. Hence, we are getting the output as 4. Let's understand with the another example. So here we are having minus 2, minus 5, 12, minus 11, minus 1, 7. So for here the value of k is 3 and the output we are getting is 5. So here uh, the sub array that they have chosen is 2, minus 5, 12, minus 11, minus 1. Here the sum is what? Minus 3. Which is again divisible by 3. Hence we are getting the output as 5. Right? So this is how it is. So first of all. I believe most of you must have got the idea that what we can do here, prefix prefix something we can use here. Mm -hmm. You must be thinking about that because um, generally we have come across the question like this. So some idea must be coming to your mind, right? Prefix some hash map like this, right? So let's understand. Let's dig into this problem. Let's understand that how we can basically solve it. So just a minute. So let's say uh, we are having the input like this. 5 is the size of our array, right? 3 is the k value. Then let's say the array elements are 1, 2, 12, 2, 4. Let me put the index as well. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So for this one, if you have to tell the length of the maximum sub array, then how will we are going to do this? How we are going to approach this? So I gave you the hint, the prefix something, right? I gave you the hint. So let's understand in the same way. Here if you will see, so 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 12, 15. This sub array is divisible by 3, right? And uh, okay, so here till here we got 15 plus 2, 17 plus 4, 21. This is the longest one, right? This is the longest one because here we are covering all the array elements. So we got the idea. We got the idea. So First, we will be storing the sum. So, if here you will see, uh, we will start from here. The sum initially that is 0, right? That is 0. And we have to keep track of the remainder as well that we are getting for a specified sum. So, initially when your sum value is 0, remainder will also be 0, right? Okay. Then here the sum value will be 1. Remainder will be what? 1 itself. Then here what will happen? The sum value will 2 plus 1, that will be 3. Remainder will be 0 because if you will divide 3 by 3, you will be getting 0. Then sum will be what? 12 plus 3, 15. Remainder again, that would be 0 because 15 is divisible by 3. Then 15 plus 2, 17. For 17, if you will do, so what you will get as the remainder 2, right? Then 17 plus 4, 21 and remainder would be 0. Okay. Now, you can see this pattern is getting repeated. Okay. See, here we considered one zero. Here we considered this zero. When sum was zero, remainder was zero. Okay. Then this zero is getting repeated again. The pattern, this value is getting repeated again. It means what? That these two elements that is occurring here, na, 2 plus 1, 3. And 3 divided by 3, you will be getting zero, right? It means 
this is the sub array that is divisible by 3 and here also you can see this 0 is occurring again so here if you will see the 2 plus 1 3 plus 12 15 this is also divisible then here also the 0 we have then if you will take all the array elements completely 21 we are going to have and that is also divisible by 3 okay so we understood okay we understood that how the things are happening so we need for storing purpose we need a data structure that would be hash map so we'll be using hash map here so let's understand how hash map is going to you uh, going to help us so let's say we have taken a hash map so what we're going to do first of all we'll be storing the values like this uh, we'll be taking the prefix sum and the remainder like simultaneously we'll be taking the sum as well as we'll be storing the remainder as well so remainder you can see first of all for this zero now for this zero what we will do we in our map in our hash map we will put zero comma minus one with this zero we will associate the value minus one okay then what we are going to do so if some values already there in your hash map so for this we are doing some computation if value is not there in the hash map then what we're going to do for example here this remainder this one one is not in hash map right so if you, so we're going to put this map dot put put this value and the put this value and the index associated with it so what is the index zero so put it then we will see zero zero we will come across this value zero zero is already there in the hash map right and what is the value associated with this minus one so if you are seeing a value that is already there in the hash map then there we have to put our logic our logic of whom our logic to find the maximum length sub array okay so there we will see we will fetch the value that is associated with that key with that value zero what is the value associated minus one and the index on which we are currently so we are on one index we are on this index uh, let's call it as i so what we're going to do is i we are on i i minus minus one this minus one is what the value associated with zero with zero what is the value associated minus one so that's what i'm taking here index value is one so one minus minus one you will be getting two uh, okay so this is the length of possible sub array maximum possible sub array that we have got till now till now i'm saying it, till now okay and you can see two plus one this is the sub array that is divisible whose sum of elements is divisible by three so yeah we got our answer let's proceed similarly further as well so again we are we have come across a zero right so it is still in the map right so again we are going to fetch the value so values as it is that is minus one what is the value of i2 so 2 minus minus 1 you will be getting 3 and here you can see 12 plus 2 14 plus 1 15 right so this is the this is again a possible sub array whose sum of elements is divisible by 3 okay then we are coming across this 2 2 is not there in hash map so we will put it map dot put 2 comma and what is the index what is the index associated with 2 that is 3 so let's put it then we will come across this 0 we will come across this 0 right so for this that is already there in the hash map so what is the index 4 minus uh, what is the value associated with this key 0 minus 1 okay so we will be getting 5 so you can see 5 will be the correct answer the maximum sub array the maximum sub array maximum length sub array whose sum of elements is, is divisible by 3 right so we got our answer but here you can see all the remainders that we got now they were positive they were positive what if the remainders are negative okay let me take uh, some test case so that you can understand in that case we have to do a simple uh, change only otherwise the rest of the things are same so let's say we are having something like uh, 5 2 and the data values are 1 2 minus 12 2 4 so first of all we are going to compute the sum so when a uh, sum is 0 it is okay the remainder is 0 so when sum is sum is let's first compute the sum so here sum is 1 here sum is 3 then here the sum is minus 9 then here the sum is minus 7 minus 7 plus 4 the sum is minus 3 now we will be computing the remainder so 2 like if you will divide this 1 by 2 what you are going to get is remainder 1 itself 3 divided by 2 you will be getting 1 itself here you will be getting minus 1 here you will be getting minus 1 here you will be getting minus 1 right now here if you will see 2 minus 12 minus 12 plus 2 so minus 10 plus 2 plus 4 4 plus 2 6 minus 10 plus 6 you will be getting what minus 4 
so this is what we are having this is what we are having this is what we are having but if we will check the remainder here then that's only so that is one that is minus one right so remainder is not same uh, but even though this sub array is giving us what this sub array elements this sub array elements when they are we are adding them up then the summation is divisible by k what is this now like so our logic is not going to work here obviously not let's understand this with the help of an example again so let's say you are having a number 31 okay and uh, now you are dividing this with 7 so there are two possible remainders okay like 31 either we can make it as 35 or 28 to make it divisible by to make it divisible by 7 if you will make it as uh, 30 or uh, 35 so you have to add 4 and if you want to make it to 28 then we have to subtract 3 right then we have to subtract 3 and if you want to change this negative power uh, negative negative remainder to positive one we can simply do minus 3 plus 7 that is 4 so you can see this plus 4 minus 3 they are same right if, if you are just adding this number 7 7 we are getting the same value 4 itself so here as well what we can do see uh, here here the value the remainder was getting negative so what we can do is when remainder is getting negative now we will change it to we will change this remainder into the positive one so here it is positive here it is positive here it got negative right so we'll be doing minus one plus two plus two we are checking we're dividing with this k value now so minus one plus two so you'll be getting one here here also one here also one so these are the values that we got right now here if you will see here you will see if we are going to add these values so 2 plus 1 3 3 minus 12 will be getting minus 9 minus 9 plus 2 we will be getting minus 7 minus 7 plus 4 we will be getting what minus 3 okay minus 3 is not divisible by 2 right uh, but this part this subarray is divisible okay so first of all we will be starting the same thing hash map in hash map do we have this value 1 no right so we will put it 1 comma index is what 0 0 so let's put it then we come across this value 1 again so what we're going to do is um we are we are going to fetch the value associated with this one that is 0 and the index on which this value is occurred so this has occurred on index 1 so 1 minus 0 our uh what we're going to do the sub area that is having the that is having the sum divisible by 2 its length is 1 its length is 1 because you can see if we are having just a 2 so 2 is also divisible by 2 itself okay then we have come across a 1 again so again fetch the value associated with 1 that is 0 and its index is what 2 so 2 minus 0 we got 2 so here you can see 2 minus 12 minus 10 and that is divisible by 2 okay then we come across a 1 again then what is the index of this one 0 1 2 3 3 minus 0 you will be getting 3 and here if you will check now so 2 plus 2 4 2 plus 2 4 minus 12 plus 4 minus 8 and that is divisible by 2 okay then we come across a 1 again then here if you will check then here if you will check so what we will be having what we will be having here what we will be having here the index is what 4 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 4 and the value associated with this 1 in the hash map is 0 so we will be getting 4 and you can see that's what the answer is right this is the maximum possible sub array whose element sum is equal is basically sorry divisible by k k value is what 2 okay so you must have understood both the scenarios when the remainders are negative and they are positive what we have to do and how we have to approach so i think the approach part is clear for you so let's move to the code part now so here is the code for this particular problem. We are taking a variable res that will be returning at the end that will be storing the maximum length. Right? Here is our hash map. This is the sum and the remainder value. So initially we are putting in the hash map 0 minus 1. This pair we are putting. Then we are um, going through all the elements that is there in our array. So we are you, you can see we are taking this sum value. right? So because we need what prefix sum so sum plus equal to errri and simultaneously we are storing the we are storing the remainder as well with that store like associated with that particular summation now here we are making sure that if remainder value is less than zero then we are converting this into, into the positive one by adding this k value right now here what we're doing is we're simply checking that if that particular k is already there in our hash map so what we're going to do is we are going to fetch out the value associated with that particular key right and then to calculate the length what we are doing is simply i minus the value that we have got now so i minus index now here we are checking that if the length 
that we have got right now if it is greater than that of the value that we have in res so just we are updating the value of res otherwise if this value is not even present in our hash map so we are putting this value uh, putting this key value pair where key is going to be the remainder and i is going to be the value in our hash map at the last we are simply returning this res right so i hope that is clear thank you so much for watching this video i have provided the code in the description for the reference so you can just check it from there thank you everyone for watching this video Guys, keep planning, keep preparing. Bye bye.